Should Lekki Ekpe tour gate reopen? Many people have their own opinions on this, but personally, I believe there's no right or wrong answer. However, the fact remains, Lekki Concession Company, LCC, is a private limited entity with investors and loans that, that needs to be paid back. And the only way they can do this is for them to charge the public. Don't get me wrong, we should never forget the shooting that, ha that took place at the toll gate, but we must also assess this issue carefully and logically. Lekki Concession Company, LCC, as mentioned, is a private entity in charge of the day-to-day -day operation, development and maintenance of the road. In 2006, LCC won the concession to construct and enlarge the 49 kilometers road and also the, um, the construction of the 20 kilometers coastal road. The agreement was based on a build, operate and transfer agreement on the PPP, Private Public Partnership. This contract would have spanned 30 years before LCC had to hand it back to Lagos State. LCC will recoup their investment back by building three toll gates on the 49 kilometers road. But for LCC to achieve this incredible development, they had to borrow monies from both local and international banks. However, in August 2013, after 35 billion naira was spent, LCC lost the concession due, due to an increase in toll gate fees caused by an increase in exchange rates. Um, due to the public outcry, ex-governor Babatunde Fashola had no choice to cancel the PP, PPP contract, which led to Lagos State buying back the contract. A new agreement now meant that LCC would be owned by Lagos State, but managed as a private entity. With this information, I fail to understand or see why people would, would think Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu owns LCC, because Ashiwaju was not the governor at the time the LCC contract was signed, nor was he the governor when the contract was cancelled. Why did the protesters decide on the toll gate? One would say the protesters wanted to be heard, so they decided to, to besiege a few public facility that will bring them maximum public awareness. A few days into the protest, there was a change in their demand from one topic into several others. And one of their sole focus was their misinformation about their ownership of LCC and the Oriente Hotel. As mentioned above, Ashwaju and the owners of these two businesses came out in public to state that these rumors were false. One could say that the protest could have been influenced or hijacked by others with their own personal political agenda. Should LCC start operating again? Sooner or later, people must understand that the, that the Lekki Ekpe Road and the Ikoi Lekki Bridge would reopen because directly or indirectly, LCC had no control over what happened during the NSARS protest nor did they have control over the police or the military. However, LCC as a business should have done more to handle the situation better after the event instead of hiding behind Lagos State. By, by them not taking their own stand, people see no difference between LCC and Lagos State, which is the biggest problem now. Nigerians must also understand that LCC cannot ignore its liabilities and debt obligation, and neither can we. As of today, LCC owes local lenders over 11 billion naira and foreign lenders $31 million. Because LCC's sole business is the maintenance of the road and the redevelopment of other areas. If they cannot charge for the use of the roads and bridge, how would they pay back the existing loan and continue the much needed redevelopment in the Lekki area? And we must also understand that if loans like these are not paid back, this could affect us all in the long run, as cost of borrowing would increase and Nigeria and its businesses as a whole will be seen as high-risk customers. Well, well said. Mm. I also have shared same sentiments. The fight or the big uh, disagreement, I will not use the word fight, I was there actually, is between we, the young persons of Nigeria and the government, who were trying to make a statement to them. Yes. We have made our statement, and the government have had us. They are not deaf. Mm -hmm. They are not deaf. They've had us.
it's not left for them to do the right thing now about lcc it's true because you know when we do something we should not just do something for the sake of our parochial reasons we should also think of our image as a nation let me give you an example when you banned twitter because you wanted to um punish the youth you didn't think that they will see us as a high risk country in doing business and no freedom of speech you didn't think that you were just thinking that okay the nigeria is is me and the youth you are not thinking about the long-term effect number two when you say don't open lcc don't open the toll gates you didn't think because you think you want to punish the government you didn't think that these are private investors some foreign some um domestic you didn't think that some of these people would channel their resources next time to neighboring countries and then we say oh why going to countries like ghana where we are also causing our problem so we should not shoot ourselves in the leg indirectly just to we, make a statement. nigerians were our own worst enemies mm. we do things so, without thinking so, in the so, long so run. let me bring up something so way before this um ansar's stuff right a majority of people in Lagos still have issues with the Lekki toll gate or, and the Lekki Express um, access, that Lekki access, because there was meant to be a full alternative route. Yes. There, to date, is still no full alternative route. So that is also part of the issue. You're forcing people to go through a toll and pay, yet you have not provided the alternative route. Yes. So that's despite of ENSA. So people are forgetting, people are already upset with LCC and legal state on that point, mm -hmm. okay? The, the other thing is also how they did the road. There should be some bypass, some overhead um, driving bridges that can accommodate people who are not going to the local areas, but maybe going to Aja or Epe to reduce the traffic. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's still only one road. And those are things that were meant to be done. So according to their initial mandate, they have not fulfilled their initial mandate. So that's a beef in itself. Now, when you look at the ENSA's um, debacle and the, the loss of life, there's an emotive factor. It's, 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 people are fired up. People are angry. People are resentful because generally innocent people died. Mm -hmm. Generally, the military and police did not do what they were meant to do. What they are meant to do, serve and protect. Though there were political biases, political things that were going on, and people got caught in the middle. Mm. LCC, knowing that they're a private company, whoever's in charge of their marketing and communications, honestly, terrible, they terrible, up. terrible, terrible, they messed up. up. Terrible. They got lazy, complacent, and they hid. What if I was in LCC? What we would have done is do a lot of on ground work away from the state government separate from the state government you have not marked any memorial for the loss yeah. of these people who died where your infrastructure is mm. you were not to blame it was in no way was it lcc's fault what happened because when they were taken by they were taken by um, by surprise as exactly. well exactly but there was nothing put in place to memorialize these people there was nothing put in place to sensitize these people mm. to to do some proper you know image work and groundwork to get the youth on side yeah, yeah. to understand and bring them into the conversation i mean so so that is why because they didn't do that work to separate themselves from legal state in people's minds they're, they're still legal state. state i mean that's 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 the problem because if if they were bold enough or so like um like you said and i wrote us also is that they should have separated mm -hmm. themselves by separating themselves then they're basically saying do you know what with uh, you protesters we were not with you we're not with legal state mm -hmm. this is our business this is our livelihood what has happened has happened the, um, let's uh, let's acknowledge it but however we still need to move and they still yeah. angered some i want to hear Olaya's means uh, past, but they uh, angered Jemai. people in uh, lucky lucky residents association because i think they came out with a statement saying they, that they're opening this is lcc and that they've got the permission of lucky residents yes i read for lucky residents to say when did we give you permission <laughs> when did you we have this meeting so they completely allegedly completely kind of lied and went over the lucky residents i mean over to you did they Just contact you more, guys more. <laughs> so uh, <Ajumai. laughs> thank you guys it's a pl disaster an absolute disaster. Mm -hmm. 
they don't have any grounds to stand on as it is. They need to go back to the table, they need to redraft this thing and begin to think about compensating the lives that were lost. It's not so much about opening that place and trying to liquidate the loan. How much are you going to place on the lives of the people that were lost there? There's no amount of money you're going to give the family that's going to bring those people back. What was your stand when that happened? You did absolutely nothing. Now it's okay, we make mistakes, but we must always know when to retract our steps and do the right thing. Has LCC done the right thing so far? Have they issued any statement to commemorate with the family? Have they done any campaign to identify the issues that were discussed? What is their stand on the panels that have been um, opened in Lagos State? Have they been following up with the media? They have done absolutely nothing. So on what ground do they want to come back and open that place? Mm -hmm. I'm an accountant, so I understand the figures, but I also understand that goodwill is what they need to run that business. Yep. They don't have the goodwill. How far are you going to go without goodwill? They're going yeah. to open that place and something is going to come I, up again. She's and right. Back she's, to she's, no, on. no she, you're right. Because, because like, it's, it's, it's the Nigerian um, disease. When something goes wrong, mm -hmm. we know what to do, but we don't do it because there's no, there's no accountability. And then in, in, this, in this situation or so, LCC hid behind Lagos State. Mm -hmm. Which is a mistake. Which is, which is oh, a big no. mistake. What are they doing now? Now, now, they should have done, I mean, whoever is in charge of the PR, is, they're, compl they're, compl they're, compl they're, they're completely useless. Because yeah. they, should have, taken, they yeah. should have taken the bull by their horn and everything. They should have consulted. Yeah. Even if you don't want to talk to the lucky people, you can put something in, in the paper where we, are, we know that yeah. this has happened we are, and everything. Put a plaque on. Let people know yeah. your customer. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. And let's say, for example... Um, um, okay, Chuku Ibrahim will see you, but he's passed. Show it from time to time. Let people passing that route understand that you know the people that died. Yeah. You're recognizing that we lost some people. That alone can turn tides around for LCC. You don't even have to put a permanent structure. You can just say, okay, every 20th of, or, or every 20th of every month, we we'll just run a 60 seconds campaign of the face of the people that died in the NSAS. You know, hashtag NSAS is still alive. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hashtag we hear you. Well, you don't need a course. scientist, a neurologist to tell you that you need to rebuild your brand before you can open that place. I mean, You're just going to set yourself up for another disaster. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, like I said. I mean, like I said, there's no right answer or no wrong answer. But the way they should consider, look at it from a, um, a business point of view. Mm -hmm. The public are your customers. The public ah. are the one mm -hmm. that will use your facility. Yes. So right. even if you don't like them, consider them. Up next is Elijah. Please stay with us.